and NMN, and really how this interacts with something called NAD. I know I'm throwing a lot of acronyms out there. You probably have to clean that up. Uh, but why could this be an intriguing supplement potentially for people to take? Right. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm working, uh, and I, in full disclosure, I've started a couple of companies that are working on turning what are called NAD boosters as a collective group uh, into drugs. Uh, and so I was just on a call this morning. Actually, the, the past two weeks, I've been a lot of calls with hospitals who are uh, trying uh, NMN, actually, for COVID-19 patients, which we'll get to later. The way this all works is that NAD is a, an essential molecule for life. If we didn't have it, we'd all be dead in 30 seconds or less. It's like taking cyanide. NAD is vital for life. Many, actually hundreds of chemical reactions in the body require it. But what we also discovered in studying the sirtuins, um, and I want to give credit to my, my former mentor at MIT where I trained, Lenny Garenti, he co-discovered that the sirtuins, the enzymes, the Pac-Man, mm -hmm. uh, Pac-Women, you want to call them, um, they actually, so remember I said resveratrol makes them do this? Well, without NAD, the enzyme is stuck like this. It will not work. And the NAD is the gas. And without the gas, it doesn't matter what you do. And the problem is that certainly in mice, and it looks like in people too, many of our tissues, um, and certainly our skin, we have less NAD as we get older. And that means our sirtuin defenses, which are cleaning up cells and preventing the scratches on our genome, they work less. Um, and particularly with COVID-19 patients, it's been shown um, in early work, that they have very low NAD levels as well once they have the infection. In fact, the virus chews up the NAD. So what we're talking about is restoring the NAD levels back to a youthful level and allowing our bodies to defend themselves and heal the way we did when we were young. Mm 